So they announced plans to introduce 10 new EV models with 1.5 million in electric vehicle sales by 2026. Uh, and the question remains, is the automaker doing enough? But Toyota uh, sold 10.5 million vehicles last year, so tops in the world over Volkswagen for the third straight year running. And obviously they made quite a name for themselves in the hybrid market. So it looks like they're gonna double down on that. So uh, thank goodness, I can't wait to see more Priuses on the road. <laughs> and you don't like the Prius? I don't. <laughs> I don't know why. Of all the cars like that anger me, that's the one I think. Because I there's a type that drives the Prius. I was gonna say they're terrible drivers, and if I'm calling someone a terrible driver, that's saying something. But it's literally kind of punching down. Yeah, there's a uh like if I get cut off four times, three of them are Priuses. It's so crazy to me. All right, and uh also in the news, Honda our friends at Honda recalling 564,000 CRVs uh, over at Rust Concerns. Now, the great news is, is that we don't see this from General Motors or Ford or Chrysler because um, this is recalls of vehicles between 2007 and 2011, and there are no uh, Fords, GMs, or Chryslers on the road that were built then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe. really? I don't know. I digress. <laughs> but uh, yeah, essentially, CRVs made between 2007 and 2011. They have a rusting issue where the rear trailing arm's detaching. And I remember because I actually had uh, a couple of cases of this when I was in the dealership world where we would have uh, SUVs with trailer arms kind of coming apart. And literally, it's the most, uh, they called it the death wobble. Hmm. Um, crazy what happens to those, but essentially, uh, it's, uh, sold or registered in salt belt States where, uh, there was de-icing agents used on the roadway. So essentially how many guess what it is, is inspection. There's probably a repair that can be done. And if a car can't be repaired, Honda's going to buy it back from the customers. So anybody driving a Honda CRV 2007 to 2011, please be careful. You saw that before too, didn't you? Do you have a couple of those in your day? In in what sense? Where the rut that cars rusted through? Oh yeah. When you so what would happen is a used car manager would buy cars out of the Atlanta auction, and they were rusty. Yeah, probably because they got flooded during a hurricane. Would be my guess. <laughs> but yeah. Also, when I was a porter, the first time I saw a block warmer, is that what they're called? Yep. I. I had no concept. Yeah, the engine block heater with a little plug in the front that comes mm -hmm. out of the uh, the grill. Exactly. A lot of Subarus had that. Subarus for sure. And uh, in North Dakota, I saw many, many a block heater. I prefer to call them Scooby Doo's. Yeah, or Scooby for sure. Great customers, very loyal. Love their cars. Culty almost. Yeah, I like it. So that's it. Uh, that's the news. See that? Nothing about Ford. It's not the news without not Ford. Not today. Maybe next week. Wow. you have to tune in to see. Thanks so much for watching this clip of Service Driver Revolution. We're uploading new stuff every day, so make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss out. If you have a question you'd like us to answer on the show, call 8333-ASK-SDR and we'll answer your question on the show. That's 8333-ASK-SDR. For special deals on our books and training, head over to offers.chriscollinsinc.com. Now that's offers.chriscollinsinc.com. I'm Chris Collins, and I'll see you in the next video.